more women than ever are working in cybersecurity, from the entry-level employees all the way up to the C-suites and the CEOs. So look up, look around, we need to see reflections of ourselves. Action. Welcome, Holly Baruti, Deputy to the Commander of the Cyber National Mission Force at US Cyber Command. Can you talk a little bit about your background and how you got into cybersecurity? I never expected myself to end up in cybersecurity. I grew up in a small town in California. I went to a performing arts school for high school. And when I was 19, after 9-11, I decided to join the Navy. They trained me. I came in as a cryptologic technician doing signals analysis, and that really set me on the path for working with the National Security Agency. My current job, I really look at this as like a culmination of my career. I'm currently on a two-year rotation in the U.S. Cyber Command Cyber National Mission Force. We take the fight to the adversary, so it's really neat in terms of being able to look across um, all the different ways that we can actually start to impact the malicious cyber actors, really the hackers, the bad guys that are coming after us. When it comes to championing that next generation of female leaders in cybersecurity, what do you think are some of the most important things that we need to do to kind of help them through that path? Cybersecurity is national security. We need women participating in national security. We've got to bring those diverse thoughts together and figure out together how we actually can get to a real solution. I was actually a young leader. I had just taken over a role as a division chief and I had a fantastic uh, female leader I was working for. I watched uh, you know, this leader in motion and she was always uh, pushing very hard she was always uh, advocating for the right thing to do for the organizations. It resonated with me, and I really uh, internalized that throughout my career. They don't pay me to be silent, mm -hmm. and I try to be that woman leader who's a champion for others and champion for the right thing to do. How do you maintain that balance between all the things that you're trying to juggle? We often talk about work-life balance, and I don't think you can separate the two. My family is most my most important. I've got work, and I've got myself. I achieve a balance that it's not it's not just cut and dry of work or life. Why do you love coming to work every day? I think it's knowing I'm having an impact, knowing I'm making a difference and making our country safer. Just wanna thank you for joining us today. It's just been great having this conversation.